Hello everybody, John Fulford here. Today we're gonna discuss how you could go from making zero dollars a month to a thousand dollars a month writing for music libraries and reality shows and the like. Getting from zero dollars to a thousand dollars is a lot easier than going from a thousand to two thousand or two thousand to five thousand and then it you know it kind of starts getting easier again. But going from zero dollars to a thousand dollars a month is pretty easy. This is to replace your part-time job. Okay, if you get a thousand dollars a month, you know that that that's gonna offset you know the the hourly Chipotle job that you have, so you can devote more time to making music and to getting those checks even higher than a thousand dollars a month. Okay, I did my research. I spoke to some colleagues. The best way to do this, okay, is not through upfront sync payments for songs on TV shows, films, and things like that. It's through two things: performance royalties and upfront fees from libraries that are gonna pay you upfront. It's a two-part strategy, okay? It's two parts. Short-term is getting libraries to pay you upfront, and the long-term is getting performance royalties from the music that you sold to the music libraries, okay? So you might be asking, well, how do I get music libraries to pay me? Well, that breaks down into two parts. Part number one, speaking with libraries you're already dealing with if you're dealing with libraries as of now. There's a lot of libraries that will take your music for free and not pay you, okay? Exclusive, for free, no reversion clause, no payment up front. Okay, good, call them. Call them on the phone and say, hey, what type of music could I send you that you might pay for? And you'd be surprised. You, you make you know, 25 of those calls, you might get one or two libraries willing to give you some money. Okay, it might not be the bank breaking fat money fees that some people get on other, on other deals, but at least it's you have some money coming in. Okay, the hard part about this is that you have to actually ask the library who is used to not paying you, okay, to pay you up front. Okay, 99 out of 100 people watching this are not willing to ask this library for money, but the one out of 100 that's willing to ask you're gonna reap the benefits of this, okay? The second part of this plan is contacting libraries that pay up front and offering your music, okay? You're gonna to have to make a lot of cold calls, you're gonna to have to make a lot of cold emails and things like that. Do your research. This is to get you from $0 a month to $1,000 a month, okay? So most of the hard work on this is not gonna be doing the music. Most of the hard work on this is meeting the people with budgets okay, that are willing to pay you for your music. The unique part about this strategy is that when you're going from zero dollars to a thousand dollars a month, the hard part is contacting libraries and meeting the buyers, okay? Once you start meeting enough buyers, the hard part becomes doing enough music to meet the buyer's needs, okay? So in this stage, you're going to be doing a lot of cold calling, a lot of cold emailing, a lot of networking, quote unquote. Don't wait for these networking events, these networking conferences, Start now. You have Google, you have a phone, you have an email account. This is where you earn the money, okay? It doesn't take that much music to go to $1,000 a month. It really doesn't. But it takes a lot of calling and emailing to go from $0 a month to $1,000 a month, okay? Now, the longer term part of this plan is collecting the performance royalties from the music that you've sold to these libraries, okay? That could take anywhere between nine months to two years to start seeing decent domestic royalties, not counting international, decent domestic royalties from these placements. Now, do you see why it's beneficial to get money up front for your tracks? Because you get that money a lot quicker than these performance royalties that come months or even years later, okay? But these performance royalties are very, very, very important to go from $0 a month to $1,000 a month. So, make sure you're signed up with a performing rights organization. In the United States, it's ASCAP, BMI, or CSAC, okay? If you're overseas, my foreign audience, it might be beneficial to sign up with a United States PRO to collect your United States royalties. You'll get your money a lot faster. Contact the PROs and find out more details on that. I can't give you details on that. I've never experienced it myself. My people in the United States, Make sure you're signed up with a PRO. Make sure you have your, you know, your member identification number handy on your laptop, on your computer at all times in case somebody needs it from the libraries that you're working with, okay?
The most important tip I have for you on this is to make sure you're working hard so you hit that goal of $1,000 a month. Some people hit $300 a month, some people hit $400, $500, $600 a month and they start to relax a little bit and they don't, they don't stick to their discipline of their strategy to make $1,000 a month and then their, their, their money goes from $600 a month, $700 a month down to $100 a month and they have to start all over again getting up to that $1,000 a month. So again, the best tip I have for you on this is consistency. Consistency is key. Let me know when you go from $0 to $1,000 a month so we could celebrate. Now go do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Here's some more videos you might like. Don't forget to subscribe and email me musiclicensingpodcast at gmail.com to join the John Fulford YouTube community. See you next time.